Hello, this is Dr. Amin Marashi, working as specialist from Aleppo, Syria. This course is about clinical changes in RPE. This presentation is about RPE rape and atrophy. RPE rape can occur in vascularized PEDs due to a complication of intravitreal anti-VEGF treatment, which causes a rapid contraction of the choroidal neovascular membrane, inducing traction on the RPE surface and shrinking of RPE surface, forming two opposite forces, the regression of choroidal neovascular membrane and remaining attached RPE. Anti-VEGF treatment continues despite the RPE rip. Other causes can cause RPE rip, such as laser or spontaneous, can occur as well. On OCT, the RPE rip will indent the retina with increased hyperreflectivity in the area of contracted RPE, with underlying shadowing hinders choroidal view. In contrast to area where RPE wear is ripped off, Brooks membrane is visible and increases the visibility of the underlying choroid. RPE atrophy can be due to the following Advanced age macular degeneration geographic atrophy after laser treatment, RPE or cone dystrophies, and drug toxicity such as hydroxychloroquine. In advanced age macular degeneration, a focal atrophic areas or areas of geographic atrophy in the form of RPE loss. Usually it presents drusen and may be associated with or without choroidal neovascular membrane. OCT cross-section shows areas of RPE atrophy, which features the absence of RPE layer with pronounced Brooks membrane, and the light is not reflected and passes through the choroid, increasing its reflectivity. Fluorescein angiogram shows hyperfluorescence from underlying choroid due to atrophic patches of RPE, which appears in early phases, then increases slowly in mid phases, forming a window defect, along with hyperfluorescence from drusen. Late phase shows no leak or changes in window defect boundaries, and hyperfluorescence fades away. Therefore, in case of dry advanced AMD, Close follow-up should be done along with systemic supplements. If the other eye suffers from wet or advanced AMD, however, in case of wet AMD in advanced stage, intravitreal anti-VEGF injection monthly should be recommended. Please stay tuned for my next presentation, which I will discuss case report series for RPE changes in clinical practice. I hope you find this presentation helpful in your clinical practice. Thank you for listening.